Hello class again. So in this video, we are going to draw up some medication in a hypodermic syringe. Okay, this one has the capacity of three mils. So we have a three mil syringe. It is a lure lock. It has a 22 gauge needle and it's one and a half inches long. So when I draw up these types of syringes, I like to use an 18 gauge needle. I like to use that because this is what I'm going to use to draw up the medication and makes it faster, less bubbles, and that way I can change out the needle for the needle that I will use to inject the patient with. Here we have our 0.9 sodium chloride. That is for demonstration, medication, dilutant, or mixing agent. In our case, it's for demo. I have checked the expiration date, although we're not going to be injecting this into anybody today, right? And I also have my alcohol wipe. You can also use an alcohol pump already. So hopefully you've already seen the demonstration where I show you how to draw up a slip tip, okay? This one we're going to do a lure lock, which is very different. I am partial to the lure lock. I just think there's it's more safe, okay? So let me move this to the side while I open up my syringe, okay? So we're just gonna peel it open and I'm just gonna put it on my working surface here. If I were going to just put it on a sterile field, you could have just dropped it on there like I did just now, but we're not working on a sterile field right now. So here is the syringe. We have the calibrations up to the three mil. Remember that three mils is the same as three cc's. So three milliliters and three cubic centimeters are the same. Ready? We have the super long needle here, one and a half, ready? And the lure lock, if you can see, has the ridges kind of like a screw. So you have to unscrew it. So that's what it looks like. You can see the ridges there. And inside the hub, it also has ridges for you to be able to, what we call lure lock it in. And you just, Put it on there, put it on the tip, and go righty-tighty, so clockwise, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, so counterclockwise is to undo it. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten that, not too tight because I am gonna switch out the needles, so just enough that the liquid isn't gonna come through when I am drawing up the medication. When you don't tighten that just a little bit, just to make sure that the, this can come off while you're drawing medication or the medication can leak through. So I just like to tighten it up until where it stops. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my medication. Okay, we're gonna simulate that it's a medication that it's already for being drawn up. I'm gonna take my alcohol pad and clean the top because as you see, this is an open top. So it's not sterile anymore, even though the contents inside is. So I'm gonna clean it with alcohol so I don't cross contaminate and inoculate the vial with any bacteria. So I'm just gonna firmly press down and wipe it clean. Okay, I'm gonna save that alcohol pad there. And remember alcohol does dry pretty quickly. So while that dries, I'm going to get my syringe make sure that it is lure locked. Our desired dose today, we're gonna to go ahead and come down to one cc or one ml, okay? So if you notice here, you have the first line, that line you do not count, okay? So you count from this one and it goes all the way to 0 0.5. So it'd be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, which is the half. So remember 0 0.5 is the same as half. So here then we go 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then to the one. Well, you can't really see because I'm covering it. So that's the one cc. So let's say that the doctor ordered 0 0.5. So we would go 0 0.5, it's just right there. If the doctor ordered 0.3, start right there at the black and go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Okay. 
Okay. And then we have one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. Okay. We have also other syringes that go up to five cc's, 10 cc's, 20 cc's, 60 cc's, again, depending on where you work. So I'm just going to loosen up the plunger a little bit. And today's desired dose is we're just going to go ahead and go to the one. Really? So I'm going to get my medication. I'm going to take off this needle because this is the one I'm going to use on my patient. I'm going to set it on the alcohol wipe so I don't contaminate it. I'm going to grab my 18 gauge. Okay. I'm going to open it. I'm going to pull it out, toss that. This also is a lure lock. Change my hands here. And I am going to lure lock this in place. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So, righty tighty, get that nice. Now, this one has the lure lock, so I am able to just go ahead and pull the cap. Remember, you want to do this in one fluid motion. Okay, so you're going to hold it here. Hold this and one, two, three, pull. Okay, gonna gently set that down, bring over your vial. I have the desired air that I wanna put into the vial. It helps you draw up the medication when you put in the air because inside the vial is created like a vacuum. Okay, so this needle is quite long. Okay, so you gotta be careful not to accidentally stick yourself or somebody around you maximum sharps precaution okay see that we do have the fluid i do want to do it this way this time so i can show you how to draw it up so this is for a more experienced person so you're going to put it right in the center okay and you are going to if i wanted to push the needle all the way in i could but if you see that bevel of the needle has passed the liquid so if i were to draw up medication i could barely do it because it's past the liquid. So I'm gonna push the air in. I'm gonna pull that needle so it's in the medication. Do you see that? Okay. And that way I can draw up the medication. So we're gonna draw up to one. See, and see how fast that's coming in and out? That's because the 18 gauge is so much wider. Okay, so we're gonna do up to one. Again, make sure that you don't have any bubbles. So I'm looking, no bubbles. Those little effervescent bubbles do not count. Okay, we're looking about, we're talking about bubbles that are going to restrict the dose or take the dose away from the syringe. So this is good. We're at one. We're going to come out. Okay, verify the dose again that you're from hub to desired dose. If I did want to try to get rid of those effervescent tea bubbles, you can try to hit it. Again, staying away from the tip, holding tight onto the syringe and see if that wants to come out. And it kind of came out a little bit. All right, so then we are going to exchange the needle now. I'm going to take this needle off by twisting it righty tighty or lefty loosey. Okay, so I'm just twisting the syringe off. I'll dispose of this into the sharps container. All right, don't set it down because I don't want to contaminate. I'm going to grab the other needle that I have set down on the alcohol pad that has not been contaminated. And now I'm going to lure, lick, lure lock this one into place. Okay, nice and tight because this is the one I'm actually going to administer the injection with. Again, you want it nice and tight so that liquid doesn't come out and that the cap doesn't accidentally or the hub doesn't accidentally come off. Let me show you what happens if you accidentally don't lure lock it tight enough. Okay, so it's just there. Let's see if you can see the medication kind of leak out. It's not really showing you but that's okay. All right, so it's there, okay? I lost half my dose there, but that's okay. This is just demo purposes because I wanna show you how to draw it up. Okay, so now it's capped and ready to go.